Hey there folks, John Holbrook here with Watch Talk Forums and I am coming to you today with a video supplement to my written photo review on the CX Swiss Military Hurricane Limited Edition Aviator Watch. Uh, thought I'd start off by showing you the watch with just some of the accoutrements that come with this package. Uh, it comes with an absolutely huge uh, box here. This is a black ebony uh, uh, ebony wood box. The interior is yellow uh, with some uh, red and black writing. Uh, it's so big I can't even get it uh, all in frame here. Uh, but one of the really neat things that this comes with is this uh, actual printed uh, cost chronometer certificate. This is the certificate that is issued with any watch which is submitted, uh, has the movement submitted for uh, cost chronometer certification. Um, in it, for watch enthusiasts, this is really neat because it shows the actual uh, testing results that the watch, uh, the watch movement achieved when it was tested in various positions and in various temperatures. Uh, this one did pretty well. Uh, most of these. Uh, uh, accuracies, uh, accuracy readings are uh, two seconds or less uh, deviation. So it's uh, uh, it did very well in testing, and this is a, a really neat thing that uh, I've known some watch enthusiasts actually frame their costs chronometer certificate because, um, uh, as many of you know, uh, the thing that makes a watch a chronometer is the fact that it's uh, passed costs uh, chronometer certification. So this is a, a really neat thing and I'm glad to see that uh, CX Swiss Military actually includes this with watch because not all watches do. Um, the watch has, I'm going to see if I can kind of get some of the other things in, in frame here so you can see, but um, uh, it comes with uh, uh, the warranty, the certificate, the instructions, um, information about the chronometer certification. Uh, really nice box here. Uh, very, very complete package. And uh, the price point is really uh, very competitive for this watch. Let me go ahead and clear out uh, the box and things and let's go ahead and focus uh, in on the watch itself. Okay, I've got my macro lens on here so we can get a little closer detail on here and uh, just again want to get some video footage of this watch mainly uh, just so you can get a better idea of what it's about. Uh, the Hurricane is a 47 millimeter watch. This is a big watch. Uh, very classy looking I think with the color scheme that they've gone here. Uh, red dial, black sub dials with some white hands and markers. Uh, really like it. Uh, this strap is uh, pretty unique. It's a nanotech leather strap uh, that uh, they're they're actually pretty uh, pretty cutting edge. Uh, it's a genuine leather strap, but it's uh, it's highly resistant to both water and uh, and to oil. Uh, you can see here that the uh, on the strap is a uh, a black DLC coated stainless steel buckle that matches the case. Uh, the watch is water resistant to 200 meters, so it's it's primarily considered uh, an aviator's watch. You can tell that with the markings on the bezel. Uh, of course, the size as well. Aviator watches are typically on the large side. I'll give you a shot of the uh, of the back of the the watch too, because that's really neat. Uh, the way they've done both the red writing and uh, the red screws. I thought that was really neat. Uh, it's a chronograph, so it does have pushers to control uh, the chronograph functions on uh, on the watch. Uh, but uh, let me go ahead and uh, screw in the top pusher here because I kind of want to uh, show you what that looks like. Okay. okay, I've gone ahead and screwed down the pushers, uh, and as you can see, when they're screwed down, you can no longer see the red and that's important because you want to be able to look at it and know whether the case uh, is completely water resistant. Uh, you cannot operate the chronograph pusher controls 
uh, in this manner when they're screwed down for maximum water resistance, but uh, it, uh, the design is made to maintain the integrity of the water resistant uh, case. Really neat watch. Uh, I, I, when I first saw this, I just went gaga over that uh, red dial. Uh, really think that's attractive. Um, the band, uh, the strap, extremely well. I'm very impressed by that. At first I thought it was rubber because uh, it's got a little bit different texture and feel uh, than leather, but once you feel the underside and how soft and supple that is, you realize, yeah, that's genuine leather. It's just, uh, I believe it's just treated in a manner that uh, gives it the extra water resistance. So really, really neat. A very well designed watch. This is my first exposure to this particular watch manufacturer, uh, CX Swiss Military. Uh, again, this model is a limited edition model, uh, as I talk about in the written review. And uh, uh, very, very impressed with uh, this initial offering. It's a pretty thick watch, as you can probably see. So it's a uh, very contemporary design. It's going to have a lot of wrist presence with that size and thickness. Uh, but again, I just wanted to get some video footage here uh, of this watch as a supplement to my written photo review. If, if you found this review on YouTube and you haven't read the written photo review, the link is in the description box. Please go and check out uh, the written photo review because I've got a lot more details there on the specifications of this timepiece. Again, this is just a video supplement uh, to the written photo review. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to write to me and let me know. Uh, please visit Watch Talk Forums uh, and the official CX Swiss Military Watch Forum where you can find some great discussion about this uh, and many other uh, watches from CX Swiss Military. Uh, take care, God bless, we'll see you in the next video.